son. And now, a distinguished veteran of the civil rights movement, member of the House of Representatives from the state of Georgia, the Honorable John Lewis. I am delighted, very happy and honored to be here. I stand here not so much as a member of Congress, but I stand here as a human being. For almost 25 years ago, I participated in a march here for jobs and freedom. Hundreds and thousands of members of the Jewish community marched with us then. I think it's fitting for me to be here with you today. Our message, our message, the message of the black community is one that is very simple. We are saying to President Reagan, Mr. President, tell Mr. Gorbachev to open the doors, open the gates, and let the people out. I said that as long as one Jew is denied the right to immigrate, as long as one Jew is denied the right to be Jewish in the Soviet Union, we all are Jews in the Soviet Union. What I'd like to do right now is to read a brief statement from Mrs. Coretta Scott King. Although a previous commitment prevent me from being with you in person, I want to join you in spirit by expressing my warm greetings and wholehearted endorsement of the rally for Soviet jury. My husband, Martin Luther King Jr., was deeply concerned about what he called the spiritual and cultural genocide being forced on Soviet jury by the Soviet government. In this same spirit, I am proud to support the cause of freedom and human rights for Soviet jury. There could be no genuine last night until Soviet jury are allowed to immigrate and travel freely. In this spirit,